One of the things that I've kind of figured out is that there's some people who will sell things on eBay that are absolute crap. And you know, you just run across it every so often and you just have to make do. Um, here's what I'm talking about. Here is an air filter breather that I bought on eBay to go on a Jeep and it had this old little shiny chrome cover over it, you know, and oh, it just looked honking. Well, damn, the, the darn thing, the dang thing won't run with this on it uh, because air won't go through it. How weird is that? Make an air filter, the air won't go through. So I've, I've been debating on a lot of different ways of trying to fix this, you know, and I, I thought, well, it seems a shame to do away with this whole thing. And I'm looking at it, and it looks like on the inside here, there's this little stainless steel looking screen. And I was looking at how to pull this apart, and I was thinking, well, maybe I can get my knife up under here and pull this stainless steel screen out. Because if I can, I could pull whatever kind of paper they put in here, and they must use a paper bag or something, because whatever it is, air won't go through it. But I was thinking, if I get this stainless steel screen out of here, you know, I could put some cheesecloth or something in there, and uh, it would work better than what they got. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm pulling this apart, which is exposing this paper filter in here, which ain't worth a doodly squat if you can't get air to pass through it. I mean, good grief. What's the point of making a breather that air won't pass through? So, that's what I'm doing. I'm ripping it apart. I mean, I got nothing to lose. It ain't no good anyway, right? So, there that is. I got more. I got stuff in the garage that I can redo that with. So, the next thing I gotta do is get this paper filter out of here. So, I'm just gonna grab a hold of a piece of it and rip it and cut it and pull it find a way to get it out that's what I'm doing now see just taking it out in little pieces what I will be left with I think is this little screen with a little rubber on each end and if I can get something up in there and I'm thinking cheesecloth would work I got some foam too but if I get something else in there that would breathe, that air would pass through, and I almost want to grab a piece of this that's big enough to try blowing air through just to see what the heck they make this stuff out of. <clears throat> well, ain't no wonder air won't pass through that. Where the heck did they get that at? If I can't blow air through it, I mean, who, who comes up with crap like this and sells it on eBay? That's what I don't get. You know, people talk about, oh, the Chinese, they make crap. I don't know if they always do or not. I've had some Chinese things that are pretty well made, you know, and I realize it's a real shame we don't make anything in America anymore, and I'm not who, sure whose fault that is. I remember, who was it, uh, Ross Perot years ago said you'd hear the sound of jobs leaving America so fast it'd be a sucking sound. and. I don't know if anybody is old enough to remember that or not, but I remember it, and all of a sudden we're all sitting around saying, hey, where'd our jobs go? Dang, but don't get me started on politics. I'm not even going to go there. But what I do know is this year, we don't make a whole lot of things in America anymore. And I don't know if, you know, it makes a difference, if there's pride in American work, so much so that we wouldn't make crap like this and try to sell it to people, but... Like I say, don't get me started. I'm just trying to, I'm just a simple man trying to dismantle a useless bunch of paper out of an air breather so that I can put something in there that work. And I believe I can create something that'll work out of this. I believe I can take this apart and I can put something in there that'll work better than this because in all reality, this is crap. Sorry, but it is. It is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta say it. It is what it is. So, that said, at least they put it in there pretty good, you know? I mean, they put it in there like they did, like they thought some old bozo would be trying to pull it out in the middle of the night. <laughs> like me, like I'm doing. But, oh, I'm starting to have some progress. Listen, it's just coming right out of there. I got me a big piece there. Look, I bet air don't pass through that either. Man, you could suffocate trying to breathe through that. Who invents this stuff? Uh-oh, I've gone out of focus. That happens to me a lot in my old age. I'm gonna quit talking, because this is gonna take a while. I've already been doing this for about four minutes, and I've only got this much of it out. So, I got a long way to go. So I'll hush.
and I'll just keep working on this and then I'll come back later and I'll see if I can't invent something to put in here to work better than what we got so far. That's what I'm thinking.